Greetings, and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host, Ace, and today we have an absolute classic of an RTS to look at, Command and Conquer Generals. In the modern world, great leaders resolve their conflicts with words. Step on Shed Launcher. Carpet Bomb. Carpet Bomb. Tomahawk Missile. Tomahawk Missile. First released all the way back in 2003 as the first Command & Conquer game not to be developed by Westwood, Command & Conquer Generals nevertheless is a beloved game, even amongst some of the most hardcore of the fandom, and yet still manages to stand out in its own unique way. Which is why it is so unfortunate that the game can have trouble running on modern hardware, even when talking about the digital version found on Origin. But of course we are here to fix that today, so let's dive in. For a start, it should be worth mentioning that I am of course testing this fix out on the Origin version, although it appears that this fix should run on the CD-ROM version as well, although you will want a clean copy that is nevertheless up to date. In addition, it should be noted that the computer that this fix is being tested on is a Windows 10 64-bit with a GTX 980 Ti, 48GB of DDR4 RAM, and an i7-6700K processor. With all of that out of the way, let's get started. And the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that you have downloaded and installed DirectX 9.0c. This is an especially common thing to have to do with regards to older games, as modern computers typically do not come with older versions of DirectX. But once this is done, you will then want to go and find the generals.exe files, which in the origin version will be found in their own separate directories for Command & Conquer Generals as well as Command & Conquer Generals Zero Hour. Once you find them, however, you will want to right-click on them and select Properties. From there, go to the Compatibility tab, click on the button that says Change Settings for All Users, and configure them to as shown here. Make sure to once again do this for both of the generals.exe files. Once this is done, you will then want to download and install a program known as Gentool, which if you use the executable will automatically install Gentool to both your copy of Generals as well as your copy of Generals Zero Hour. Next up, you'll want to download a file known as D3D829, or as the actual file name itself is known, D3D8.dll. However, once you download this file, it is very important that you change the name of the file to D3D8x.dll. Once this is done, you'll want to copy this file and paste it into both your Command & Conquer Generals directory as well as your Command & Conquer Generals Zero Hour directory. Finally, you'll want to boot up and configure your game. It should be noted that Gen Tool has a special options menu that is accessed by pressing the insert key. Also note that the regular options menu will now allow you to run the game in a widescreen resolution. Once again, make sure to do this for both Command & Conquer Generals, as well as Command & Conquer Generals Zero Hour. Congratulations, your copy of Command & Conquer Generals should be playable on a modern widescreen resolution. However, if you are still having issues, then I strongly recommend checking out the FAQ webpage made by the creators of Gen Tool, as it covers more specialized issues and fixes. That said, I will of course be leaving links in the description below to all of this, and I hope that you find this guide and these resources to be of use. And I also of course hope to be back again soon with another guide. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.